A painting amongst thousands of paintings can have such a profound impact on someone. If something looks pretty or it looks nice, then that's cool too, but I'd, I'm more interested in making something that can stop someone in their tracks. And it's a kind of piece that you can't get out of your head. Or if you walk into, into a room, it's, it's like a, a distinct presence. It's almost like there's another living being there, even though it's a piece of canvas or paper. It's almost like when you're giving someone CPR, and like the moment when the person, when they, when they wake up, is the moment that I stop painting. You know, you almost like breathe enough life into the piece where you feel you can leave it, and it's, it's got that presence in a room. I never wanted to make work just because I had to make money. Eventually, I realised if you want to do it properly, you you have to. Yeah, give yourself over to it. You can't, you can't kind of do two things at once and paint when you have spare time. And I also realized, most importantly, that you don't necessarily have to compromise what you do from a creative point of view to make a living from it. You never really know how people are going to receive work. It's quite surprising at times to, to realize how quickly your idea of something that you really like can change. Like, I don't think I'm ever embarrassed or shy to show an older piece because it's like a reference to a certain time. And I mean, that's just the way it is. But it's not like I'm gonna put an old piece on show because I think I've gotten better and the work's gotten more interesting. You have to, to kind of treat each piece very separately from the next or from the one that came before. My dad once said to me when I was still at school, he said, I don't mind what you do, you can do anything, just make sure that you do one thing well. I've never forgotten that because it's kind of true, you can do anything if you did really well, you'll be all right.